Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to some Oaklands. So I figured today I'd just show you uh, uh, the logic build. Uh, that was the one we were starting off new. Uh, I played it for about two and a quarter hours, and I have gotten almost 100,000. So let's just go ahead and load into it. I believe the prior video, uh, sometimes my videos tend to mesh together in my head, but it stopped before I could uh, do my usual outro. That was because uh, I had something that happened to it, and I looked and I saw that my recording is off, so my OBS must have glitched out or something. Uh, so I apologize for that. But yes, um, one of the biggest things that I used for getting all that money was the electric wood or electrified tree and also um, any other trees. I did do one like magma and ash. Magma takes too much time to cut up. So, um, look at me, I'm floating. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll get this out of the way. If you like any videos that you see on my channel and would like to give them a thumbs up, click that like button. If you want to comment down below, uh, if you have a question for, like, the game that I'm in, um, that you're watching on that, you know, the video, uh, go ahead and put a comment. And last but not least, if you'd like to continue our rise up in subscribers, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button, tap that bell for notifications, so you'll know when that next video is out, as well as when we're doing a live stream. And I can interact with each and every one of you that are in the server that uh that game that i'm playing so with that being said uh let's go ahead and uh just do a little quick recap i am starting over like i mentioned before and i talked about going and one of the quickest ways to make money See this big tree right here? We're going to cut her on down. And look, I still have all of my original tools that I got starting off here in Lumber, Ty Lumber Tycoon. Here in Oakland's not Lumber Tycoon 2, Delay. A similar game. This is a red maple. But not exactly the game that we're mentioning. So... If you can manhandle this big tree, which I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, if you can't, go ahead, just cut up the trees that are closest to the resource hub. This is going to be the quickest way you could get money in the game. So here, I'm going to put this over here. I'll put it over here. We got lucky with the last one because it, we had a, it was raining in the game and storming, and we were able to uh, find a lot of uh, electrified trees. We'd get one cut up, and we'd go back out, and we'd see another one. And that's how we got that... Does it show here? Yeah, there we go. The 91,000. Uh, we only need like, I think it's 75 to max out our land. So today we will actually max out our land here in Oaklands. So yeah, uh, I just pulled a saw. Look, it's too big. Start chopping again. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, let's go this, still too big. They just try to come down half the size of what it is. Do them both. 
does depend on the thickness as well, so I probably could have went a little bit closer. But see what we got. There we go. First done. Next piece. So it, do, it doesn't take too long, but let, I'll just show you here. We'll just do one, then we're gonna do the max land. We'll try not to make these videos too long. Uh, reason I am maxing out and starting over. This is eventually going to be a new build, uh, working with a lot of logic. I've got ideas in my head. Oop, that one's too big. Ideas in my head, so hopefully we can put them in the game for all of you to enjoy and learn from so and maybe you're already a pro at doing logic and kudos to you so leave in the comments to below if you are doing good in logic or maybe if you have a question about the logic I'll try to get them answered uh, it might take a little bit for all this just because this is me starting off. Let's go ahead and cut it up here and see if I can get that. Do it two here then. Let's see. Is this still two? Oh no, it isn't. Cool. Nice. So yeah. But yeah, starting off for me, it'll take a little bit for me because I'm going to have to make some money so I can buy uh, those uh, logic materials but there is a lot more logic materials than what's in the forward slash testing uh, that I mentioned in one of the other videos I think it was like uh, what is logic I think it was that video um, that has the stuff that they were testing at the beginning so it doesn't have all the new uh, different components that you'll find in the store you can go to the game but you i haven't been able to find out how you can grab them from the store and take them back to your base so we'll just do it here oh too big too big really these weren't too big earlier there we go Interesting how some are too big and some aren't, but must be right at that line. Get all we can saw. Let's see, I think it was like five minutes. So it might take about five minutes a tree. Remember, I'm just taking trees that are right next to the resource hub. So I just wanted to show you here. This isn't the... Uh, just regular oak tree this one was actually a red maple so it should be a little bit higher in the cost it's bigger I know that it was a lot taller all right so let's go ahead and chop this one up let's see if we can chop just a section off Cool thing is, look at this. I'm not even by the tree. Long reach. Ugh. All right. Oh, that one needs to be too. Oh, I'm too far. There we go. Okay. So how are you today? I hope you're having a good day. I enjoy having all of you here while I'm doing these videos. Yeah, at times I'm like, oh, I got to make a video. But then I stop. I'm like, you're going to be watching these videos. You're going to be with me. So, I'm like, it's going to be fun to make this video. So. Almost done. Not too bad either. Yeah, about, about five minutes for this red maple. 
Remember, these are all the tools. And I think that's what the last video I had was. Oh, still too big. Um, I talked about like three, I think it was like three of the um, things to know when starting off in Oakland's or something like that. Uh, yeah, one, um, just to re-jump, because I was bouncing back and forth in that video. I think that's the one that cut off. But uh, the first thing, either play solo or have your own server. Because then when it's storming and an electrified tree shows up, you're the one getting that tree. Uh, the second tip was to go ahead and just uh, harvest the wood. I think, think that was a second tip. You know, closest to here, harvest wood. Uh, third is keep all of the same tools that you uh, got. Oh, what am I doing? See, we don't have to pick up this, put it in. We just leave it a mess and watch this. I'm on the wrong side. Hey, sure, there you are. No, I was on the right side. All right, sure. What do we got here? We have 3,652. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd like to, uh, not too bad. I mean, you can always go and find other items. So say like, uh, you go get some purple cactus. You could do that. Um, just remember, it's going to take a little bit of time to get where you want to go. Why is my base glowing? You ask, I got some magnetite in that last one. And it's underneath all them blocks. Them blocks are too big for my refinery. And look, we're into a storm, so we know what that means. So, let's go ahead and we had, do have a few moments left and then we'll up our base size. I'll show you I'd say real quick, but it does take a moment or two to drive there. And I'm keeping all of my original things. Um, my car, uh, my tools, stuff like that. Just to show you, you could do it with the items that you first get in the game. So let's go here and we talk to Hyper Bridgeman. We say goodbye and he lowers the bridge. This is the way to get to the desert. This is also where you get purple cactus. Purple cactus is probably one of the best things to grind on because unlike electrified mushrooms, you don't have to worry about things shooting you, stuff like that. Uh, it's safer, let's put it that way. It is a little bit of a drive, though, to get there. Because either you're going to have to have extra tools, and that went the wrong way. You can go two ways here. We'll just go on the way over here. So if you take, come on, right there's where we came from. If you take the road to the right, you can go up here. Then we're going to move to the left. Instead of going to the right there, we're going to go to the left. We're basically going to be up on top of the plateaus. So, let's see here. Yeah, and left again here, not on that side, but this side. We have to go up there, but I was just going to try to show you here. Oh, that's not the way. It might be the other way, too. So used to go into the one shop here. But no, here we go. That's right. Up there is you keep climbing up to get to the shop right here. You'll see a little hump here. 
That's actually how you get there. You hop over, you drive or drive over. And then you see there's another one here. Drives up. Drive down. And there you go. We are in the plateaus with the here are the purple cactus. So I would probably, if you've got something this so driving down, I would just push him off the edge and we'll just drive our car back that way. Either way, you can do it. Uh, good choice. So one, two, three, four, five, five. That's not too bad. I'm only going to cut up three of them just because of my size of my car. I don't know if I can get them all anchored into it. Instead of picking everything up, we're just going to go back the way we came. In case you want to know that way. But yeah, see these are a little heavy. You pick them up like that. Just remember, I do not have... Oop, I don't have a grabby grabber. Or grabby a scrapper. So see, they're not going to work doing that way. So we'll put them this way. As long as you get them on the car, they normally anchor themselves. If you move back and forth a little bit, you'll see here in a second. Figured three might be the only amount that stay on the car. It's all new to me because I haven't done these. So it's a learning experience of myself too. You know what, that one, is, we're having trouble. Just grab this one first and we'll try to put the other one on top. There we go. As long, again, as they're touching. Okay, this one isn't. If you go over, if you drive off the ledge, they're gonna unanchor from your car. There we go. See, and this top one isn't anchored. So, gotta try to get that one anchored because I don't wanna leave one behind. Okay, can anchor that way. Yeah. Okay. We'll go back the way we came, just so you can see. So we go back up here. You just don't want to flip your car. You flip your car, they're going to all unanchor it from it. Okay, and follow this kind of material downward. Go down here. Getting from point A to point B sometimes takes a little bit, but yeah. Let's see, there's not that way, but this way. There we go. And there's our road. We are actually in a different area i i went back the wrong way but it at least gets you down here's the lumine designs if you've never been there they've got a lot of different uh, cool tools they've got uh, a lot of lamps and also uh, doors and stuff like that some cool unique things in a sense from the regular oak depot so yeah, just follow this main road. I turned the wrong way, otherwise we would have came up over there. Sometimes you'll see the purple cactus out here too. You can always grab those. That was the regular green cactus there. And there's our bridge that is fully up. So I will have to get out of my car to get it down. I'll show you what these are. 
and then we'll get some max land going. There's the other way we came up. We took the scenic route back. <laughs> All right. And then before, make sure your car comes to a full stop and then just hop out because everything is going to disconnect and I want it to reconnect. So I don't have to fight with it. The first one's going to be the interesting one to say. There we go. If you drive just a little bit, sometimes it will reconnect like that. So, remember, take these straight to the resource hub. We're just going to sand them right there. We're back in the regular main island. I so, oh, that was weird. Oh, we are past 21 minutes. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get these taken care of and get our size of base maxed out. So here we go. We knew that one was 35. So we're going to take, just so you know what one tree is, let's just take these out here. Saw this one. So if I'm right, if we cut it in the middle here, might be able to saw both the other pieces. We'll see. Still too big, still too big. So we're gonna have to cut off the ends. Still too big for that one. Hmm. Oh, this one was okay. Right. And last one, we'll just chop it there. I have three spots from moving. All right, let's get this one. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to see the cost. I'm going to go over and show you how to max out that land. And we'll call this one a good one. We did a lot of things in this one. All right. So there is one purple cactus. Let's just go. So 1869. It's not too bad. So probably 15 to 2,000 per. So that little trip will get probably around five to six thousand, which is pretty good. We are just going to drive over to home, and I will show you and uh, how to increase your land. Okay, so basically. Uh, and this is for PC. I'm not for sure what the mobile is. We go to the house, click on it. You go to your expand property. It does a, a bird's eye view, and just keep pressing all the pot, all the plus. And what was it? 180 studs. You can't hold down on it. At least I can. I gotta keep clicking. Almost there. I do know it's like 75,000. That's why I had a quite a bit of amount of money there. Six, 165 studs to max out your land. And then all you have to do is confirm. Boom. We have just maxed out our land. See, you can't get any more. So then you just go to cancel. There it is, everybody. Well, thank you for taking the last 25 minutes out of your day to be here in Oakland with the live dresser working on this base. 
you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Get out there, enjoy those things that you like to do that make you feel good inside and put a smile on your face because you, you're amazing, all of you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.